Welcome to the Grok Shop. In this video, I'm going to show how to soft mod your Xbox using a sort of simplified hybrid technique. Um, I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. But first off, you want to go into your settings on your stock original Xbox and pull up the kernel and uh, dash versions. And uh, kernel should be, uh, it could be variable depending on uh, what rev of machine you have. And then for the dash, it should be 5960 or higher. Um, now what we're going to want to do is uh, use the hot swap technique, which is you need a uh, IDE port on your motherboard and a spare IDE cable. Uh, and pretty much uh, all we're going to do is pull this yellow power and control plug off the DVD player and um, boot the machine up with the hard drive still connected to the Xbox. And this will force us to get um, error 12. And error 12 is one of the best errors for getting the hard drive to unlock, which allows you to transfer files back and forth. Okay, so once you have the error 12 and you want to pull the IDE cable from the Xbox hard drive and then uh, plug the IDE into your motherboard. Make sure you have the master port um, of the IDE cable if it has multiple ports. And uh, you need to go back to your uh, PC and go into uh, computer management. And from here, uh, disk management. And uh, you can right click on disk management and tell it to rescan. Um, the disks, rescan disks. And after that, you should see it show up as an unknown uh, offline disk because it's an uh, incompatible file system type. Next, you want to head over to the ISO zone and find Explorer 360 Beta 6 and download that. Uh, I'll put a link to that below. All right, if you don't have one yet, I go ahead and create an original Xbox tools folder and put this tool, Explorer 360, in there. Basically, this will let you uh, communicate with the Xbox uh, FATX file system, um, which otherwise Windows can't communicate with. Okay, and then back at the ISO zone, you want to get Endure 3.1. Uh, download that, put that in the tools folder as well. So Endure is basically a customizable exploit, allowing you to uh, configure uh, an install that augments right on top of your backed up uh, Xbox files. The docs that come with the Ender are actually pretty decent and you know everything's pretty mature at this point in 2018 but definitely check those out if you have any any doubts. Okay so now on with the show you want to open up Explorer 360 go to drive open and hard drive or mem card and it should find the partitions on your Xbox hard drive there. Uh, and the main ones we're going to be concerned with are partitions three and four. Uh, partition three maps to letter C and partition four maps to letter E in Xbox drive letter parlance. Next up, go ahead and create a backup folder. And we're basically going to copy everything from the C and E drive um, over to this uh, backup area and create another folder in parallel called deploy where we'll make a copy of everything and then run Endure on top of that. You'll see here in a minute what I mean. So inside the backup folder, you're gonna to wanna to make a C and E folder. Okay, then open up the C folder, which I didn't show there, but open it up and select everything in partition three and explore 360 and drag and drop into the C folder and let it run. And then likewise for the E folder, open that up, select everything under partition four and drag and drop, let it run. Do a few quick sanity checks, make sure um, everything's there. It didn't bomb out on you or something. Explorer 360 is not known to be very stable. Okay, next you want to want to copy the C and E folders 
and then paste them into the deploy folder. Okay, next we want to fire up the Ender 3.1 uh, installer and we're going to go through and select the components we want. I'm actually going to keep it relatively simple. If you recall earlier, you got your kernel version from the Xbox Dash. Mine was 5101. So you definitely want to check that and you can check UDDAE if you want. It's a kind of a backdoor recovery tool that you probably will never need anyway, but nice to have it there. So yeah, take a note of the documentation. The target folder is going to be the folder above the CNE deploy folder. So for us, it'll just be the uh, deploy folder we created earlier. And from there, it will augment those uh, folders accordingly. And uh, then we'll use the Explorer 360 tool to basically copy those back to the Xbox. Uh, yeah, here I'll take a quick look at the differences between the deploy and backup folders using uh, one of my favorite tools, Beyond Compare. Um, and you can see it does uh, does add quite a few um, folders and uh, files there. Okay, next um, what we're going to do is head back to Explorer 360 and clean out the uh, partition three and four, basically um, select partition three, select everything inside, right click and go to delete. And we'll be doing the same thing for partition four. Okay, next we'll head back to the deploy C folder, select everything in there, drag and drop to partition three. Okay, not shown here, I'm going to select everything in the E folder under deploy and drag and drop that to partition four. Okay. Meanwhile, back at the Xbox, reboot time. So yeah, strangely, if you've ever used Endure, uh, Endure 3.0 uh, came pre-canned with uh, Unleash. This one's pre-canned with Evolution X, but it doesn't really matter, of course. You can just change it up. And I can see right here I'm not hooked up to the network yet. We'll do that later. Um, I used Auto Installer Deluxe 4.53 and Hexen 2017. DVDs. I'll put links to those below um, as my tool discs. There's other ones out there. Um, here I'm going to go ahead and uh, boot into Auto Installer Deluxe um, DVD menu. And the first thing we want to do is uh, make our way down to Config Magic and get a backup of the EE Prom, um, which will uh, be necessary to be able to lock and unlock the disk later if you change disks or whatnot. Of course, if you TSOP flash, you don't need that, but um, not sure what where y'all will be going from here. So go ahead and go to create backup files. I'll show where those files end up here in a minute so you can back them up onto your PC hard drive or whatever. Um, now's a good time to go ahead and hook up the network. Uh, I do so here, go ahead and get a local IP address. For me, it's going to be 192.168.1.141. Make sure that the FTP server is enabled. It says yes. Password defaults, uh, always Xbox, unless you change that manually. I'm going to use FileZilla for my FTP tool. Um, you can choose to use whatever you want. I'll put a link to FileZilla below. It's a pretty, pretty nice FTP tool. So here you can see I try to connect and fail because I forgot to put the username and password. Um, just put Xbox, Xbox there and your IP address should hook right up. And here you can see the drive letters 
uh, on top. The way it works is what you have highlighted in the top window is shown. The contents are shown below. So there you can see in the root of the E, the EEPROM files, I just downloaded those. Ends up wherever you have selected on the left, uh, which for me was C colon temp. And confirm that they're there. And then you want to probably make a folder in your backup, call it EEPROM, and just copy them over there. Or, of course, you could navigate directly there and FileZilla and do it that way. Next, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the Hexen DVD in the Xbox and select Install Dashboards. And then I want to select Switch to Unleash X. And uh, then we'll just have to reboot. So I decided to check out the game saves that were there and lo and behold, I didn't have any of my game saves. So um, ended up going back to FileZilla here and um, going to the good old backup folder, which we made earlier and uh, copying the contents of the UData and TData um, folders to the corresponding folders on the Xbox and uh, this should remedy that situation. It's looking more better. So also in Hexen, uh, I recommend install applications to E, uh, mainly because um, this will install the DVD to Xbox tool, which will allow you to copy your DVD games to your uh, hard drive and um, basically it's like having a backup of your game which boots much faster than um, the DVD does anyway. By the way the F partition I believe is for larger hard drives so if you replace your hard drive you may be able to um, use that F partition. But anyway in the DVD to uh, Xbox tool I'll show how that um, works here by Essentially ripping um, one of my games, uh, just going to do Halo here and show how it works. The dump directory is basically the destination directory. I would put it in E colon game slash Halo if I knew what I was doing the first time. Uh, but it defaults to just E colon, so that's what I selected and you'll see that creates a little bit of a problem because it can't find it when you go to load the games so not a great choice for the default whoever designed this package but again free stuff you know what are you gonna do um, you can always edit the config file in unleash uh, or whatever tool you're using this is this would be the DVD to Xbox config but here I'm doing the unleash one um, because it does affect the dashboard as well and tell it where to find the games and so um, you can do it by manually editing the file or you can just go into FileZilla and move the um, game from the E root into E colon games, which is what I ended up doing. By the way, if you don't have an IDE DVD ROM on your PC, it's very difficult to use the Xbox HDM to burn a disc to boot off of. Um, so that's why I ended up using this method. I hope you like it. It's a little more modern, a little easier than some of the other videos I saw. And that's the best way to do the soft mod, I believe, uh, on the original Xbox. Thanks for watching.